If you want to learn three different ways to break blocks for your Minecraft animations in Cinema 4D, stay tuned. What's up survivalists, it's Jay from Team WJ here to enhance your animations and tell your stories. If you're new here, I make Minecraft animation tutorials every Monday, so make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon to not miss any uploads. If you're not, welcome back. I'm going to show you how to do these three block breaks from left to right. To start off, let's look at the first one. Now the first block break is very simple, it simply shrinks and drops into a smaller version of itself. If you'd like this to drop into an item, you can watch my other tutorial on how to do switch outs, it's a very similar method. Ideally once this drops you're gonna have it keep on spinning, but I've only made it spin once. So let's get to how to do this. Select your block and make sure it's editable by hitting C on your keyboard. Then make a keyframe on frame 0. On frame 2, go into the coord tab over here and make the size 1.1. This will make it so that the block gets a little bit bigger before shrinking in size. Then go to frame 6 and set the size to 0, 0, 0. Jump to frame 10 and make the size 0 0.3. This is roughly the same size as a broken block in Minecraft. What you should have now is this shrinking animation. Set a keyframe again on frame 6, go to frame 12 and move it down a slight bit. Make sure auto keyframing is on so you don't have to re-keyframe this. Jump forward however many frames you want ahead and simply make it spin. You're gonna have to do some trial and error to make sure the timing is right. Finally, make sure you give it a little bit of a bounce. I like to make it go up and down every 5 frames. So on frame 12 is where it goes down, skip forward by 5 frames and make it go up again. Here's what the final should look like. Cool, moving on to the next one, a bit more advanced but you guys know how much I love my Voronoi Fractures. This takes advantage of Voronoi Fracture and shatters your blocks into bits. First, create a ground plane. You can do this by going up here to this cube and selecting plane. If you're working within a Minecraft world and you'd like to make this invisible, simply hold Alt and click on these visibility toggles over here till they're red. I'm gonna leave them visible for this tutorial. Right click on your ground plane and select Simulation Tag Collider Body. Okay, now go up to your MoGraph up here and select Voronoi Fracture. I should mention that this is only available on versions R18 or above. Drag your block as a child of the Voronoi Fracture. You should see it instantly be divided into a bunch of rainbow colors. In the Voronoi Fracture settings, disable colorized fragments and disable create and gone surfaces. We can leave virtually everything else on default. If you'd like to see me go more in depth with Voronoi Fracture, you can click on this tutorial over here. Cool. So sticking with the basics, we're going to right click on Voronoi Fracture, go to simulation tags and select rigid body. Now the Voronoi Fracture has physics, but we need to make it shatter. We can do this by creating an invisible sphere. To do this, go up to the cube up here and select sphere, make it a tad bit smaller and move it above your block. Make a keyframe and on frame 5 or so, make it crash down. Just enough so that it touches the top of your block. Again, hold Alt and click on the visibility toggles until they're visible. Right click on the sphere, go to simulation tag and select collider body. Now if we play it, this is what happens. Awesome, but it glides around just a bit too much for my liking, so I'm going to select my dynamics body tag, go into bounce and turn this down to 10%, go into friction and turn this up to 200%. Now if we play this back, much better. You can mess around with the settings by yourselves to get the result that you want, but we'll just move on for now. Now this last and final method shouldn't be used by itself, but instead combined with one of the other two methods that I just showed. This last method adds the little breaking texture that you get in Minecraft. Now I should mention that if you are a Patreon supporter, you will have access to all these files so you don't have to set it up manually, but for everyone else who's watching and isn't a Patreon supporter, you will be able to download the break texture file, but you have to set up yourself. That's what this tutorial is for. So get your block ready and drag the break texture on. You should see this Christmas tree looking like thing. Select the break texture and set the length to 1000. Now we start to see where it starts. Now if you don't want it to start with a little crack in it, that's simple. Let's say I want the crack to start on frame 2. Make a keyframe material on frame 2, go back to frame 1, and clear the texture by going to this little arrow. Set a keyframe again, and it should go from invisible to visible. On the starting frame, I'm going to keyframe offset V. I'm going to move three frames forward and set the offset to minus 100. And for every three frames, we're just going to shift it down by 100. Simply repeat this until you get to negative 900. On your final frame, make a keyframe on material, move forward by one frame and clear the texture. Now you can jump into the other methods of breaking the block. The final thing you have to do here is hit Ctrl or Command A while your cursor is on the timeline. This will select all the keyframes. Right click on the keyframe and hit Step. Now if we watch the playback, it should look like this. I should mention that if your block is really hard and you want it to take longer to break, simply have more frames before the texture changes. And if you want it to break faster, just reduce the distance between the frames. Hey, do you want to learn animation but don't know where to start? Why not check out my Beginners to Advanced playlist designed to help you improve your animations right here. If this video has helped you, don't forget to share it and help your friends too. I'm a YouTuber trying to influence and change Minecraft animations for the better while working on my own animated series, Levislear. You can play a massive role in the development of Levislear by watching more of my videos or checking out my Patreon. With that said and done, this has been Che from Team WJ to improve your animations and tell your stories. Cheers!